What's up, Long Beach? It's JJ and Mike and LBPostSports.com spent Martin Luther King Day at Jordan High School for the Basketball Spectacular. The Dr. Floyd Massey Jr. pictured there and Martin Luther King Jr. pictured here. Spectacular. Uh, Floyd Massey is the father of current coach Ron Massey as well as a civil rights activist. Jordan would be taking on Beverly Hills in the nightcap, but first it would be LB Polly and Mayfair in the battle down low. Yeah, that's Julian Camper for the Jackrabbits, and wearing 32 for the Monsoons is Kyle Richardson. Long Beach State recruit is going to go play for the 49ers next season. And uh, he reminds us of another center that we get to see a lot here in the LA area. Yeah, he's like a young Andrew Bynum. He very much is. Uh, a very natural defensive presence, knows how to put pressure on without fouling, great footwork, uh, a nose for the ball as you see there. And a basketball IQ is basically what we're saying. Yeah, he's very and he's very coachable. And clearly still, uh, when you see him, he's kind of a baby face. He's got some growing left to do. And I can't wait for him to get better, and that looks like exactly what he's doing right now. But it was the play of the point guards that helped the Monsoons stay in this one. Yeah, Tim Douglas, number 11 uh, for the Monsoons right there, really was their fire plug. And he kind of ran wild, was uh, inside the paint, as you see here, for the whole first quarter. Second, Pauly adjusts, uh, drops a, a low zone. Yeah, they put the big bodies down deep with Boykin and uh, and, and Camper, and, and watch this move by Camper. On the offensive end, you can't get much better than that. Football footwork. 4-0, <laughs> putting it in. 38-22 at the half, and in the second half, the outside shooting for the Jackrabbits took over as uh, Nixon Jr. did a great job from the outside. And Mike Mays, ooh-wee, at the buzzer, beautiful. Yeah, you don't want anything else out of that kid. Pauly really did shoot better outside than we've seen, and that's Ryan Anderson. That's a six foot six sophomore center knocking down the three. And can I get some passing? Some passing. How about one, two, three, bucket? Pauly does that better than maybe anyone else we've seen. They seem to get better at it every week. They come away with a huge 17 point win, and uh, they are looking poised right now to make a postseason run. That's their 12th win in a row. 12 in a row for the Jackrabbits. They are ready to go into the second half of this Moore League season, and so are the LB Jordan Panthers, who took on Beverly Hills, like we said, in the nightcap. Uh, Beverly Hills. Struggling a little bit in their season, and uh, and Jordan took advantage of it straight from the jump. High flying, Jordan Panthers. Stefan Hurd just wanted to do this all game. He just wanted to dunk as much as he uh, possibly could. Wow! Throw one away and then dunk it. Let me just read you. Uh, should I just read some stats here? Yeah, and it was kind of a messy game because, uh, interestingly enough, unexplicably, the Normans thought they could run with the Panthers, and they were uh, they were proven wrong. They were sorely mistaken time and time again. Jordan had 17 steals, 7 blocks in this game. They had 49 rebounds to the Normans' 39 shots. You do the math on that one. Let's not forget number 23 for the Normans, though. Greg Townsend led all scorers with 26 points, but the Panthers had 4 in double digits. And they out-rebound them, like we like to say, a lot to a little. 49-19, I believe that qualifies. The Panthers had more offensive rebounds than the Normans had total rebounds. Second chance points is what killed the Normans in this one, but uh, it was the Panthers' athleticism, and they ran away with it, 83-59. to Jordan looking good and very excited, just like the Jackrabbits, to get into the second half of this more league schedule. Talk about a confidence boost.